ITE is a post-secondary education institution under the Ministry of Education. Our mission is to create opportunities for each secondary school cohort to acquire skills, knowledge and values for employability and lifelong learning in a global economy. As a principal provider of technical education in Singapore, ITE has an annual intake of 15,000 full-time students. While ITE endeavours to provide quality education, many ITE students face multiple challenges and obstacles that hinder their progress. Among other factors, two out of three ITE students come from families with per capita income of $850 or less. Notwithstanding the basic education subsidies from the government, many ITE students still have to work to support themselves and their families. As many as one in four ITE students holds down a job, and not all are part-time jobs. Sadly, some chose to give up their education because they are not able to juggle between work and school. To ensure that no one in Singapore is deprived of an ITE education due to financial hardship, an ITE endowment fund was set up in 2010 and Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong promised that the government will provide a matching grant for every dollar raised. As an institution of public character, ITE will issue receipts to donors to qualify for 2.5 times tax deduction. We are grateful to the donors who have readily come forward to give to the ITE Endowment Fund. But with a significant number of IT students requiring financial assistance for basic daily expenditure and also to embark on enrichment programs beyond the classroom, it is projected that an amount of no less than $1 million is needed every year to lend a helping hand to all deserving students to help them benefit from education in ITE. My mom has been a single parent supporting the three of us since the passing of our father. It wasn't easy being the only son in the family, especially when you have responsibilities such as taking care of your sisters and being a student as well as taking a part-time job during the weekends from 7pm to 3 in the morning. I was relieved when my lecture told me about the assistance given by Tolkien Tree Foundation. Now I don't have to ask my mom for allowance and feel guilty about adding burden to her. I will study hard to get good results, achieve my goals and make my mom and my teachers proud. Hi, I am Farah. My parents are divorced and my mother has to look after all four of us on her own. She earns $800 a month working as an assistant in a kindergarten. We live in a one-room flat at Teck Wai, but at least now we don't need to travel daily in and out of Joho, which was what we used to do. I got into ITE, but I thought of quitting to help my mother support the family. Then I found out about the assistance I can get in ITE. Now, with the monthly support from Changi Foundation, I am able to continue my studies in ITE. I hope that when I graduate with an ITE certificate, I am able to find a better job and help support my mother in supporting the family. After my father retired, my whole family depended on my mother to bring food to the table. She is now working as a helper at a coffee shop. Life is tough but I'm determined to pursue my studies. Thankfully, I was successful in obtaining the financial support from Chulin Fund and Lucio Fund for my school expenses and daily needs. I want to do well in ITE and continue my education in the Polytechnic. My family went through a financial hardship when my father business failed. Things got worse when my father passed away after a car accident. My mother has to work as a cleaner to support my sister and I. In the past, I worked long hours as a earphone promoter to help me end meet. It was very tiring, and my mother was worried for my result. Fortunately, IT helped me get the bursary from SR Nadan Education Upliftment Fund, and that was a huge relief. At least now, I have money to eat. I was able to cut back on my part-time work and concentrate on my studies. I'm very happy that I managed to catch up on my schoolwork and achieve a GPA of 4. I'm very grateful for the financial support that enabled me to focus on my studies in IT. I want to do well in my finals 
and pursue my dream to do the hospitality diploma at Republic Polytechnic. I want to do my family proud. My mom has passed away and my dad worked as a taxi driver. I have three siblings and our capital income is about $500 per person. I couldn't imagine that I can go overseas one day with the financial help from Changi Foundation and actually I get the opportunity to go overseas industrial attachment in Fuzhou. It was my first time sitting on an aeroplane and I think it was fantastic. It was an eye-opening experience for me. Their technique and culture are different from here and they are very hardworking and they work long hours every day. Through this overseas experience, I realised that we need to have a global mindset and be open to opportunities in the global world. Every ITE student deserves a fair chance to develop to their full potential. We are grateful to all the donors of the ITE Endowment Fund who enable us to provide bursaries, scholarships and enrichment opportunities for our needy students. Your valuable contributions have made a positive difference to these young lives and set them on the right path towards a brighter future. As ITE has a very large intake of new students every year, we hope that more donors will come forward to contribute to this worthy cause. Indeed, ITE graduates have important roles in our economy and society with the skills, knowledge and values that they acquire in ITE. Almost 9 out of 10 are in high demand on completion of the ITE training, commanding gross mean monthly salaries of close to $1,700. A number of ITE graduates have gone on to become successful entrepreneurs and community leaders. Your kind generosity in giving to the ITE Endowment Fund will support technical education in Singapore and enable many more young people to complete their post-secondary education in ITE. You can make a significant impact in nurturing the next generation.